Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates. But not for my cousins, the Adelie penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. Hi, me hearty. Why couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. <laughs> So? Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry, I know the type. <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. Adelie penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip, and I'm Flap. Oh, here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, I'll miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind the back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Can I... <laughs> That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. I'm flap. He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip? Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean oh flappity flippers. <sighs> flap. If you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. You're right. Flappy now. I mean happy now. Happy. Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie! You don't scare me! <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rock on me, hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi? Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's me. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! <laughs> Dashie! Oh, 
Originals to the HQ. That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Ready on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. Hop on board. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <sighs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> okay. Rocco! I'm too Strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashi, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, octonauts. There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the octopod. Please, put away uh, any uh, items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now. What's that, Tunip? You found some strange objects in the garden pod? Well, let's go! Jumping jellyfish. They're eggs. But who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler! Come out wherever you are!
in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. That's the one. A sea crate. They are the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. <gasps> that whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. <laughs> They hatched! That's great! But, um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! 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 Find water! Captain! Dashi! Come in! The eggs have hatched! Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all! They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool! Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. <laughs> Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashie, what's going on down there? 
What if the snakes reverse the ship? I'll try to change direction. It's no use, we're getting sucked in! We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. Captain, the ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain. We've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey, snakey, snake. Oh, no. Brave move, matey. I, I can't believe I just did that. Great work. Open up and say, ah. Uh... Good. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Good. Say ah. Uh. Ah. No, not ah. Uh. Just ah. Uh. Ah. Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> Looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Weak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, 
Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the Great White Shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down, keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. <laughs> Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... <laughs> As I was saying, I... <laughs> oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. <laughs> but a shark's got to eat. <laughs> Can't eat the gub eggs. He's getting tired, and if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yeah! Oh, you shark! Can you not see him trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. Mm, but I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip! I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be a friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. OK, the shark is calm, he's moving and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the bin. Okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark bin rack. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Ah. Good as new. How do you feel? Good and hungry. <gasps> oh no, you're out of your trance. <laughs> Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey! <laughs> Ooh, a cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. That's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic. Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Quasi, <laughs> keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! <laughs> I've got an idea. Tunip, come in. I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Ow! Ah, there's nothing more relaxing. 
and then a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So, you want a race, do ye? You're on. It's a snake attack. Yeah. Ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Ah, uh. oh, blubbering blowfish. It's the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. Oh, very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Hmm. I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octoclaw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yeah! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. <laughs> Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Alan, straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut. It's gone. Tweak. Spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right. Quasi, you head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claude on account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But ye can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years. So, it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. 
<gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak! Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. Coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim. Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X. 